Hi there, it's Matt here from Schrepers, which can only mean one thing. Yep, that's right, I am here today to take a look at another fantastic Schrepers product. And today, I have the absolute privilege of looking at the new Schrepers Yarn Bookazine. This is Yarn Bookazine 15 Metamorphosis. Doesn't that look spectacular? Now, some of you know I'm a big fan of the Yarn Bookazine series, and this one is living up to all of my expectations. I'm already loving the glimpses of the patterns we can expect to find within. I can see already accessories, homeware items, garments, and cute little amigurumis. It's really gorgeous. I'm also loving the color palette. I love this summery lilac shade and the contrasting teal that runs down the spine of the bookazine. But the thing I'm really, really excited about are the pops of oranges, blues, and browns, which are so contrasting to this of the lilac. So a very interesting color palette, but works so wonderfully. Now, the idea of metamorphosis has come about by drawing comparison to us navigating the global pandemic and the ever-changing world of insects. So we can expect to find within the book scene four chapters, each one dedicated to a unique insect. So let's take a look as to exactly what's inside the bookazine as we delve into Yarn 15 Metamorphosis. So I am really loving the glimpse of the projects you can see that will be featured throughout the bookazine. You can see this dragonfly, pops of oranges and browns there with this gorgeous moth. But I love this overall fresh lilac color. It's really stunning. And I especially love this contrasting turquoise color that runs down the edge of the spine in this crochet stitch. What a lovely detail that is. Now the yarn bookzine is available in English and also in Dutch. This is the UK edition, the English edition I'll be taking a look at. Now, as we open up the front cover, we are met with a glimpse of what we can expect within the book scene. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous blanket, stunning photography, and that lovely, stunning jumper. Wow, look at that. We have a foreword by Schrepius' creative director, Simi Summer. And then we get into the actual bookazine. So a gorgeous picture setting the tone, as well as everyone that has worked so very, very hard on the bookazine, as well as the contents. So here, as I've already mentioned, the bookazine is split up into four chapters, the damselfly, garden tiger moth, honeybee, and muslin moth. And already I can see some great titles jumping out. For example, the beehive basket sounds really fun, as well as the flyaway brooch. Sounds awesome. So you have all of the gorgeous photography and inspiration within the front section of the book, the kind of lookbook. It's then followed by the pattern book, so the written instructions of how to make the projects, as well as some really interesting reads in the form of interviews and articles. Chapter number one, the damselfly. Look at this. I love all of the illustrations there, as well as this gorgeous watery scene and this stunning crocheted kaftan. Wow. A lovely kaftan designed by Jezebet Bueno. You can see the gorgeous stitch definition and this lovely damselfly inspired stitch running down the center of this page really gorgeous. This is made in Schrepe's Legacy and also Katona. Who'd have thought they went together, but they go so perfectly. Then we have another glorious project by one of Schrepe's bloggers, Yelena. She has made this gorgeous dawn dip wrap. Look at all these lovely colors as well as the patterning. Can you spot those damselflies there? Now, one of the things I love about the yarn bookazine is the attention to detail. All of these turquoise colors featured throughout the photography, but look at this, little glimpses of pink that contrast the turquoise in the form of the binding of the bookazine. Really stunning, wow.
as we progress through the Bookazine, there are also some really nice features. We have an exclusive behind the scenes page. We have a scannable QR code that will take you to the Schrepius website with some exclusive behind the scene information about the yarn bookazine. This though is probably one of my favorite projects from the book. This is the Evolution Blanket. It's absolutely stunning. It really captures the mood and feel of the garden tiger moth. And I love just how retro the colors are. Look at that, isn't that fun? Then we have an interview featuring one of the artists. I love all of these doodles and the font. Everything has been so well considered. Now, once we get through the main lookbook, we move on to the pattern book. Now, the pattern book is really fantastic. Not only does it, of course, contain the written instructions for all of the patterns, but also has clear schematics as well as tables and, when needed, also charts, which is really fantastic. Everything's very clear and really nicely laid out. Now, also within the pattern book, you will notice these little indicators. They are just an indication of the difficulty level of the patterns. Little indicators just saying how easy or how tricky the projects may be. And then once you get through the pattern book, you end up with this really handy notes section just to jot down some ideas and thoughts about your pattern. Love this gorgeous illustration. And then a really handy scrapbook page any inspirational resources that you might want to take note of. And then we have the abbreviations. And something I always love in the Schrepier's Yarn Bookazines, you have these punched holes for the option of looping some of the yarn that you're using. So almost creating like a shade card. And you can write down the color numbers or the name of the yarn. So you know exactly what yarn you're using. And even you could note maybe the hook or needle size. And then finally on the back cover, we have that image, which is just so stunning. Now, as mentioned, the Bookazine is available in both English and also Dutch and priced at 10.95 euros, 9.95 pounds and 11.95 US dollars. What an absolute treat that was. Wow, what a fantastic addition to the Yarn Bookazine series that is. It is truly a work of art. So a big congratulations to everyone that has contributed their designs to the Bookazine, as well as everyone at Schrepiers that have clearly worked very hard on the photography, the styling, the patterns and the articles. It is really fantastic work. Now, if you liked what you saw within the Yarn Bookazine and would like to get your hands on a copy, then please follow the link below this video for more information on your local Schrepiers stockist, as well as information on how you can subscribe to the Yarn Bookazine series. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this review video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as check out www.schrepiers.com for lots more inspiration in the form of our publications, our yarn and our endless pattern support. So until next time, happy crafting.